days Running it down on these niggas uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder My nigga, you know how we get it, my nigga Still be painting them bitches, my nigga Ripping that roll over, fucking your bitches Sex, drugs, money, and murder 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 Niggas, they never gon' hurt you uh-huh. Niggas, they never gon' hurt you uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder uh-huh. Sex, drugs, uh-huh. money, and murder uh-huh. Got the traps right, understand how to get that Ran down on them niggas with a flip back New and I'm your boy Bullis Gotti. Had to do a video today to commemorate 9 11, to talk about 9 11. Um, September 11, 2001 was on a Tuesday. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I remember going to school late that day. And um, I remember hearing about the towers being knocked down. And I went to school. And um, when I tell you it was a dark day, it was a dark day in this country. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it changed the trajectory of this country. It changed a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is, <clears throat> is that 2001, September 11th, was the difference maker of this country. Still is. And if you really look at it, <clears throat> a lot of things happened what really, I would say, changed the country was that, just look at it like this, right? It's a normal day, right? The 10th, September 10th, 2001 was a normal day. Right, Michael Jackson was at the Garden. You know what I'm saying? I remember watching Monday Night Raw. Um, you know, it was a lot of things going on in the media at that time. The Giants was playing that that same actual day, so it was a lot of shit going on that on the 10th. So when September 11th came, it started off as a normal day, and then. Both towers get knocked down. The Pentagon gets, you know, explodes. I lost two cousins on this day. You know what I'm saying? On both sides of my family. I lost a cousin on my great-grandfather's side of my family. I lost a cousin on my great-grandmother's side of the family. But I lost family members on both sides of my family. I lost a cousin in the Pentagon. I lost a cousin in the Trade Center. He was actually on top um, at the restaurant that they used to be in there. Uh, forgot the name of it. Uh, but he was in the restaurant conducting business. And he was, you know, he was a stockbroker. And the crazy thing is, right, he could have lived. But he went in there to save a woman that wasn't, she wasn't from this country. But he went and saved her. By him going back to save her, Cost his life, cost his life. And he left behind two kids. You know what I'm saying? His daughter was like, I believe she was like maybe four years old or five years old. Son was probably, I would say, maybe 10 or 11 years old. And his p- body perished in that building. My other cousin who was in the Pentagon, he also perished in the Pentagon. So this day is a very personal day for my family. You know what I'm saying? It's a very personal day for a lot of people, but it's, it's, it's so personal for me because I lost family members. What's up, Tabby? How you? Good, man. They was asking about you. Uh, Tabby, to my son and me, I probably for him. All right, I got you. But yeah, it was a very, it was a very personal day, man. So, you know, even thinking about it now, man, it's just, it's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. You know, this the to wake up in the morning to go to work and then to not to come back to your family. It's very sad. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and one thing I tell people is, man, tomorrow is never promised, man. That day changed the trajectory of this world. It changed the trajectory of this country to the point that this country, you know, was very much um, on deck for a lot of things that was going on, but what it did was it, it changed the playing field, changed the playing field 
of this country to the point that it was all about, you know, war, war, war. We actually went to war. In a documentary, and I'm gonna keep it real. Like, the first time I saw the documentary about 9-11, right? Where um, this director, I think he was in the building. I think he got stuck in the building, but he was on the scene and he was doing a documentary on FDNY, you know, firefighters. And so, in the documentary, it's a very sad documentary. We never got a chance, I forgot the name of it. But it's a 9-11 it's a, it's a documentary and you can see when they went, it was the, the day before, you know, the attack happened, what happened to the towers, you know, basically, you know, this journalist, I wouldn't say a journalist, but he was a cameraman. The cameraman went into it, went in the building with, you know, the firefighters. And you would see so much, you saw so much that happened, you know, during the catastrophe. And when I tell you that it was the most depressing, most sad documentary I ever saw, I couldn't watch it. The first time I ever saw the documentary was, I would say 2005 or maybe 2006. And the, the, the last time I watched that documentary, or watched it in depth, was, I'll tell you, maybe 2001, maybe two, 2000, 2000, maybe 2011, I think. I'm saying 2001. But 2011, 2012, man, she thick as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. 2011 or maybe 2012, I watched it on CBS. And that was the first time I ever got to like to sit down and watch it. And it's just a sad documentary because, like I said, a normal day. You wake up, you go to work on a normal day. You know what I'm saying? And then you go to the building and you lose your life. You know what I'm saying? It was sad. You know what I'm saying? My mother actually was working in Manhattan at the time. You know what I'm saying? And she used to be around that area. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I lost two cousins that day. And, you know, to my family, it's it's it's, it's hard for them to go there. You know what I'm saying? You know, even, even my cousin, you know him, you know, his sister-in-law, you know, my cousin, wife, and... His kids, they was going every year, and his wife had stopped going. The kids had stopped going, but it was so sad and depressing because, like I said, my cousin's daughter didn't know her father. You know, since she was a very little girl, you know, since she has slight memories. So it's like it, it, it's just it's sad, man. It's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I always say to myself, you know, when you look at it now, man, it's like. It's crazy, but I'm going to tell you something that's so crazy. I was on a plane one time. This was like years before 9-11. Um, and I think this was 98, 99. And I was on the plane with this woman. Um, Somebody had posted her up, but she was um, a medium, right? And um, she said something real in depth to the precursor of what happened. She said something is going to happen in New York. She asked us where we was from on a plane and she's, cause she saw my hat, I had a Yankee hat on. And uh, she said that something is going to happen in New York, a big catastrophe, you know what I'm saying? I was real young, but you know, they hear that back then, it, it, it's crazy. And then they, they saw what happened, you know, years later. To think about it, it dawned on me, you know, people just don't know, man. What's up, man? How you? Mm -hmm. you know, people just don't know, man. And it, it, it's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? It's real sad that um, looking at it now, you know what I'm saying? Looking at afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember watching the Yankee game when uh, Bush was pitching Yankee and Mets game that year. Um, it, 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 it brought the country together, but it also... It took the soul out of the country. You know, it took the soul out of a lot of people, man. Like I said, man, it was a depressing day, man. You know, 9 11. Uh, it was sad, man. You know? And a lot of people just don't understand, like, till this day, you know, what happened 20 years ago 
it changed, changed the world, man. Niggas is still like, Rakim had a line. He said, I ain't had rest since 9-11. You know, a lot of us ain't had rest since 9-11 because it, it, it changed this world. It changed this country. It changed everything. You know what I'm saying? It changed the psyche of people. You know? And that's a fact. You know, so. Sad, man. But it is what it is, man. I'm your boy, Bullets Gotti. Salute to everybody, man, for watching and tuning in. You already know what it is, man.